Hi, this is Jared at Skunk River Cycles, and today I'm going to show you how to move your front wheel uh, with a quick, quick release system. It would happen if you want to put your car, bike in the car or if you ever get a flat tire and need to change it. Disengaging the cantilever brake, first thing you're going to want to do, what I like to do, is I like to push the brakes together onto the rim. And what this will do is give you some cable slack here. With that cable slack, pull down and remove the cable. So if you don't have cantilever brakes, another type of brake which is very common on road bikes is a caliper brake. To let the cable tension off the caliper brake, all you do is on the right side of most bikes, you simply pull up on that lever. That will give you enough cable tension to remove the front wheel. Uh, another type of brake that is very similar to a cantilever is a V-brake. First thing you want to do on a V-brake is remove this little protector piece here on the cable, pinch the brakes onto the rim. At this point, that'll allow the cable to move a little more freely and this piece will disengage and allow you to move the brake from the quick release. What this will do was, is take the tension off the springs and allow the wheel to come off freely when the quick, quick release has been removed. Which is the next step is to take the lever here, take that, it's been disengaged. On the right side of, of the bike, spin it a couple times and what you want to do is lift up and remove the wheel. The wheel's been removed and at this point in time you could put the tire in your car or start with your tire change. So at this time um, what you don't need to do is you don't need to fully remove the skewer and the quick release. You don't need to, and it's often done, and what I find happens is people start, people lose the springs, lose the end, whatever the case may be. So just simply, when you're removing it from the wheel, just leave the quick release skewer on there. You're getting on, you, you've reached your trailhead, you're going to get on the trail, or you're done done with your tire chains so you're going to put the wheel back in the fork and engage your brakes. To do this fork back on the axle and when you do this you don't ever want to have the front wheel off the ground. If you have the wheel off the ground what could potentially happen is that your wheel will be in the drops crooked and it'll rub on your brakes. So what you're going to do is basically the reverse of what we did earlier. You're going to the right side, twist a quick release a couple times, and then what I start to do is I start to check the lever here. It's still moving freely with no resistance, so I keep twisting. And at this point, I can feel that I can't turn this, I, I can't close the quick release. So unscrew the right side of the quick release. And at this point, there's a little resistance. There's, a, there's resistance. So what I like to do is use the fork and the quick release, and you just use the, the fork for leverage to close it. So next thing you're going to do is move up to the brake and just like when we were releasing, disengaging the brakes, grab the brake pads, close them onto the rim, take the cable, and put it back in the cantilever. And at this point, you can check your brake to make sure that it is closing properly. So to engage this type of brake, what you want to do, grab the brake pads again, and take the steel piece here. What you want is this piece to line up right with this piece. 
drop the brake, drop the cable in there, and that should sit right there. And then take the cover, seal it back up. If you can tell, my, my bike's a little dirty. I just rode it this morning. And then the last thing you want to do is to check it is lift the front wheel or lift the front of the bike off the ground, spin it, spin the wheel, and just make sure that the brake pads aren't rubbing against the rim. Check it with the brake and if you've done it properly, the brakes won't be rubbing and you have a successful quick release or front wheel removal. So that's how you remove your front wheel and disengage your brakes. Um, at this point in time, you can go out and ride and that's it. I'm Jared from Skunk River Cycles. Have a good day. Hi, this is Jared at Skunk River Cycles, and today I'm going to show you how to move your front wheel uh, with a quick, quick release system. It would happen if you want to put your car, bike in the car, or if you ever get a flat tire and need to change it. Disengaging the cantilever brake, first thing you're going to want to do, what I like to do, is I like to push the brakes together onto the rim. And what this will do is give you some cable slack here. With that cable slack, pull down and remove the cable. So 